aerospace. The final frontier is a matter in which self-reliance is the need of the hour. In order to meet the challenges, India has to find answers within their own backyard. CSIR has taken up the initiative long back and is actively into developing technologies which support our aerospace demands. Originally started as National Aeronautical Research Laboratory, subsequently in 1960, it was rechristened as National Aeronautical Laboratory and later it was renamed as National Aerospace Laboratories NAL in April 1993 to reflect its growing involvement in the Indian space program, its multidisciplinary activities and global positioning. CSR in aerospace and strategic sector has got a unique laboratories and a unique research centers all over the country. And they have got a lot of uh, human resource development schemes to attract the best talent in the country. National Aerospace Laboratory has a clear roadmap to design and develop passenger aircrafts with the public and private partnership to comply with the present Prime Minister's Make in India policy. CSIR NAL is the only centre in the country which provides services in the design, development, manufacturing and certification of small civil aircraft. CSIR NAL has built nation's first national aerodynamic test facility between 1964 to 1967. One of the CSIR NAL's finest engineering achievements in the 1970 was the development of full-scale fatigue test facility for testing fatigue life of aircraft, a problem of special concern to the IAF. The 1.2 trisonic wind tunnel has been the workhorse for aerodynamic data generation required for the aerospace programs in the country. The 1.2 meter trisonic wind tunnel along with its auxiliary facilities was set up and commissioned in 1967. Over the years, several augmentations have been incorporated to meet the wide range of needs of aerospace programs in the country. The tunnel has logged more than 45,000 blowdowns. Around 1983, CSIR NAL designed and built an acoustic test facility for Department of Space, ISRO, for testing satellites and launch vehicle stages under high acoustic environment of about 157 dB. The acoustic test facility has performed more than 3,900 blowdowns over 130 acoustic test programs for the Department of Space. The laboratory also contributed to the success of Chandrayaan 1 moon mission, Mangalyaan India's first interplanetary mission, geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle GSLV and India's reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator RLV-TD. India's first parallel computer named Flow Solver 4 CFD applications was built at CSIR NAL during 1986. CSIR NAL initiated high-speed air breathing propulsion R&D in India in 1997 and established a high-speed combustor test facility. CSIR NAL has ushered the era of civil aircraft development in the country aptly called the Light Canard Research Aircraft which was built and made its maiden flight on 26 February 1987. The maiden flight of in-house designed light trainer aircraft Hansa took place on 17th November 1993. An MOA has been signed with Tata Power System 4, supply of 54 CSIR NL Drishti 4, modernization of Ministry of Defense IAF airfields. Till date, 27 systems have been already supplied. We have worked on uh, Drushti, which is a visibility measuring system. This is the first of its type uh, made in the country and NAL is the only organization to have developed this. It's a mandatory equipment for airport operations, very cost effective and it has uh, saved the nation a lot of foreign exchange. And uh, also the system is so rugged that uh, the maintenance is almost uh, very minimal. So it has, uh, even uh, for the maintenance cost also has become almost negligible and it is working in uh, 10 international airports. 
CSIR NAL now has developed the expertise and capability in building large computer controlled autoclave with associated subsystems. NCA has around 45% uh, uh, of composites by weight and 90% 90, 90 of its uh, surface area is composites. Uh, nearly two thirds of its structures is uh, developed at NAL. Uh, uh, Advanced Composite Division has designed and developed uh, fin and rudder for the LCA, uh, developed the centrifugal composite parts, the main landing gear door parts, all the wing spars, wing fairings uh, were developed at NAL. Uh, the, for the Saras aircraft, the, uh, the composites are around 35% by weight. Uh, uh, the initially for the first aircraft, uh, we had developed control surfaces, that is uh, elevator, rudder, aileron and flaps and the fairing uh, for the weight reduction program uh, the usage of composites has increased and uh, the entire tail plane that is horizontal tail and vertical tail is converted into composites uh, and the wing is also developed in composites so as the rear pressure bulkhead uh, so uh, the uh, wing is developed using a new technology called resin infusion technology while other parts are developed using the traditional uh, autoclave preplaked parts. We have been working in this laboratory for quite a while on the flight control systems and uh, we have various subgroups uh, working in flight simulation, flight controls, handling qualities, parameter estimation and multi-sensor fusion. The division was established in the late 80s, early 90s and has been doing pioneering research in all these areas. As a result of this research, we have been able to provide a good deal of inputs to the light combat aircraft program of uh, the nation. This system displays flight information in a collimated form so that a pilot can view this information superimposed on his view of outside world. Primary display for combat aircraft aids pilot for taking split-second decisions. Along with this, a raster mode for displaying infrared imagery at night and low light conditions is also developed at this center. In the future, we'll serve the country in developing connectivity between small airfields as part of the new civil aviation policy that the government has announced. Major effort is required to productionize these designs and we look forward in the next several years, three to five years, in making public-private partnerships with major firms which will take these aircraft designs to fruition. Indian Institute of Petroleum CSIR in Dehradun has developed a noble single-step catalytic process for conversion of plant-derived non-edible waste low-cost oils to produce drop-in biofuel specifically for air transport purposes. In addition to biojet fuel, renewable drop-in high cetane diesel 40 to 50 percent is also produced as a byproduct in the process which can be added directly in the diesel vehicles without any modifications as a cetane improver. CSIR NAL is, is India's only civilian aerospace laboratory with a high level of competence and the expertise of its scientists is globally acknowledged.